it's been like eight days since I last posted. Um, so I thought I'd bring you this yet another little update. Um, if you can't tell already, I actually finally got out and got a fresh trim like a week ago, which was obviously a massive win for us because that moth on my head was absolutely doing me head in. Um, so I was really thankful that I was able to push myself and get out and do that. Um, it was really difficult. It was really anxiety inducing. Um, even just like getting in the car for the first time in five months and driving, even though it was like a five minute drive or, or so. Um, but I actually really enjoyed driving because I felt like an adult again. Um, instead of being drawn around by my parents all the time, I was actually in control and, and felt like I could force myself to actually do it. Um, and it was nice just chilling and driving to my music and just being yeah, super chill um, while at the same time being nervous about um, the looming prospect of sitting in a hairdresser's chair for 45 minutes. Um, at the hairdressers I was quite awkward, I was very withdrawn at times um, and I almost puked in the chair, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I did it, it's over with um, and I'm gonna make sure I go back sooner this time, I'm not gonna leave it like six months before I get it done again because um, it does give us a little boost, I feel a lot fresher and cleaner with a good haircut um, and the last time I was actually sick the last time I vomited was like a week ago now, which is obviously amazing for me. Um, and my eating hasn't been horrendous these past few days. Um, I'm feeling quite frail, but my eating is picking up a little bit, which is good. Hopefully it continues that way. Um, I've been getting hit quite badly with migraines though. Um, it's not the pain that bothers us, it's just like the not on effect of not being able to force myself to eat as much and it kind of knocks us a little bit but um I'm, I'm able to push through and, and that's a big thing i just have to avoid screens and lie in my bed in, the, in this dark room for like six hours for it to calm down but um yeah that's where we're at really um 30 milligrams does seem like the sweet spot for me for the mirtazapine um my nervous system has felt pretty decent um, even though I, I do have some anxiety still, like obviously with going to the hairdressers um, and just general anxiety, but my nervous system feels relatively peaceful and settled at the moment. There's not as many vibration of it, vibrations of, of anxiety happening, um, although brain fog is still an issue if you can't tell already. Um, I'm struggling with, with me talking and stuff. Um, that's a challenge at times. But I think it's because I'm out of practice as well. I don't do not do a lot of talking. I sit in, in my bed in silence most of the time. Um, still don't feel ready to to go out and, and do lots of things. My me, me weight's still quite low. Um, and that's probably just an excuse, to be honest. Like, I do need to go out and do things. I need to push myself more. Because um, in social interaction probably will will help us and there's no point in just saying I'll do this, I'll do that. I need to actually go out and do it. Um so I need to keep pushing myself and trying to stay stay positive as much as I can. Um easier said than done but I'm giving it my best shot. Um, I'm not, I don't want to come on here all the time and kinda of like cry in the morning about things like if I keep doing the same things over and over again I can't expect the to feel differently um, so I need to keep trying, keep pushing, trying to eat as much as possible, trying to just interact and get out there. I haven't been outside much recently, um, I kind of like that but at the same time it's not going to get us anywhere in life and socially and stuff like, do you know what I mean like I'm conscious that I'm lying in bed 20 hours a day at the moment and my osteoporosis isn't going to get any better if I do that, but at the same time, if I'm eating, not eating, probably it's going to get worse. But um, this is what runs through my head a lot of the time. Um, it's weird, but I'm just going to keep going. That's where I'm at anyway. I don't want to drag this on for too much longer. Um, I'd still plan on doing a full review of mirtazapine, like a, lo a long ass video about it, um, but I need to find the right time 
happens. I want my brain to be in the right place where I can articulate what I'm saying in, in a decent manner. <laughs> and right now I feel, I still feel like a bit of a zombie. Um, still dissociated and all that crap, it hasn't left us. Um, but I'll, I'll touch on that in future videos. Um, today, I did make a new TikTok video. I think I might throw it in here. I did a little before and after photo of us when I was younger and obviously a more recent one now to compare. Um, but yeah, I'll throw that in at the end. As always, I hope you have had a cushy day. I hope you have a cushy bank holiday weekend if you're in the UK. And I'll catch you soon. I filmed that a few hours ago, quite a few hours ago, but I wanted to throw this in at the end because I was in one of my mind frames where I was very energetic. I got like a burst of energy and I want to do loads of different things and I get really carried away with my emotions and I don't know, I kind of get like a, not a God complex, but I start like analyzing things and, and I kind of forget a, about the dissociation even though I didn't mention it but like saying about all these social interaction things I need to do this that and the other um, like just kind of you know saying saying things and it's kind of when I reflect on it it's sometimes I, I don't recognize myself and um, that's what I struggle like the conflict and emotions and feelings and thought processes like I'm just a dude, I don't really know, know much about life, I just know what I'm feeling in the moment and I just say what, what's going through my head, but I don't really know anything, <laughs> to be honest, like, I could do all those things, I could go out and have social interactions, but the dissociation doesn't let us take anything in, and I mean, in a way I've got nothing to lose, but I also forget about the COVID risk, my doctor doesn't want us being exposed because he he's worried about my health and like how I react to things and I forget about that when I get in that mind frame and I don't know I just want to kind of say that I don't always agree with myself but like I say what I'm thinking in the moment so yeah hope that kind of clears things up and might make things a bit more hazy but I'm just saying what I'm what I feel about myself and what I say I don't know man, it's late. I'm home alone for the first time in a while and I've had a video idea I've wanted to do for a while. This was me back in 2011. I was 11 years old and I kind of want to recreate that photo um, because I'm wearing the pink and I've just got some new shoes that I haven't worn yet. Well, I got them for my birthday like two months ago. Um, I'll show you. Jordan Retro 5s in like a regal pink colour. The thing I love about them is the match my favourite hoodie. This is my favourite hoodie ever and the perfectly match. So I was kind of buzzing with that. And um the kind of match what I was wearing in that photo when I was eleven. So let's recreate it anyway, let's do it. To make it even more precise, I've actually got the trophy. It's a bit dusty and it smells weird. And the funny thing is I'm pretty sure this is the only trophy I've ever won in my life. It's kind of sad. <laughs> it's the first time I've touched it in 11 years. That sounds kind of weird, actually. <laughs> One of the crazy things as well is I still live in the, the same house. And look, we've still got the candle. That was in the old picture. It's like the blue's disappeared because it's that old. We've got a nice new smell. Smell, nice new smell. Where I thought I was slightly to the left of the fireplace. I'm trying to get this precise. It's proven more difficult to get the angle right when I anticipated, but let's give it the best shot. I'm tucking this in. Get a little trophy. <laughs> oh, oh crap, I keep forgetting how I was holding it. So we're holding it like that. That was slightly to the right. You could see that. This is all they do when I try and get me, me smile right. The way I had my sleeves rolled up. I think that'll do. I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I might post a separate video on top of this as well. 
and just with the, the direct comparisons. But yeah, I enjoyed that. It was just something to get my creativity going. Nothing ex super exciting, but um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, yeah, I get super anxious when I'm alone, so it's kind of nice to to do this. I'm editing now, and upon reflection, I could have stood back a little bit further. Um, and obviously the camera, camera angle was a bit wonky because it wasn't a human taking the, the photo this time, so I had to use my tripod, which doesn't extend very far. Um, but that's the perfection, this is, and there's nitpick in it. Um, I'm trying my best to stay positive as well because I've had a rough few days. I keep getting hit hard by migraines and all the other shit, but um, I'm, I'm doing all right. You can probably tell I'm trying to smile and be positive. Um, it's bank holiday weekend, so I hope you have a cushy one, um, and I'll catch you later on.